what's up what's up y'all welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel <laughs> Chanette. Hope you're having a great day, a great week, a great month. We're getting right into it. Y'all already know how we do. Today we're discussing business essentials. Um, so I wrote some things down. Now this is not everything you're gonna need because at the end of the day, I don't really know what type of business you are doing, but these they are these are the essential um things that you need to do before you start anything, you know, in my opinion. So we're gonna get right started. First things first. Uh, a label maker um, if you're the type of person to make products or um, and, and not necessarily for products uh, not necessarily for, for products only but for like business cards thank you cards things like that um, something that I've run into with making my own labels um, they kind of smear when you just print them on the paper but if you laminate them um, it has a pure smooth finish you don't have to worry about anything leaking or anything like that that's just something that I ran into and I noticed that if you laminate it after you print them you know let them cool off for a little bit then laminate it then it works out perfect the next thing is a printer you're gonna need a printer for not if you for just you're just gonna need a printer I don't you know you're just gonna need a printer we're just gonna leave it at that um the printer that I use and as I'm talking I'm gonna be putting the things that I use somewhere on the screen so you have a picture of it and it also will be linked down below but the printer that I use is the HP MB Pro 6455 now I went through so much trouble with printers I've had Epson I've had Canon I've had I've had so many but this HP that I've had has been with me and it's been amazing so I really stand by that printer but no you do not have to get that one you just need to have something to print out on because it does add up when you go to those places that charge you uh per paper the next thing is a website you need to make sure that you have a website in mind um, something that I did in the beginning I started off on Wix and I didn't I didn't really play with it like I should have you know I recommend playing with it getting a feel of it and if you don't like it move on to the next one but don't put it out there um, until you know that that's the website you want to go through because I started off with Wix didn't like it in the end and had to switch over to Shopify which is what I'm with now but I had to go through this whole process and it was a it was a period that my site was down and it just was a whole bunch of mess that I had to deal with and I had to answer emails and it just it was a lot because I was already putting myself out there. So I recommend making sure that you have your website that you're gonna go to set. Now, not saying that later on in the future I might not switch to something else because as you progress you tend to switch to other things you know i've stopped shopify and wix are just typically what you start off with when you're new to business but um i just know that i would be better prepared this time when i get ready to switch you know last time i didn't really know what was going on and i was having orders being processed on wix but at the same time having um a shop on shopify and it just it was a big mess so now i know what to do so just if you are going to eventually switch just make sure that you have your time that you're going to switch in your mind make sure you let your customers know on all your social medias what's happening and just make sure that you prepare for what all comes with switching over um the next thing is the email marketing email marketing is essential when you're trying to get your business out there now we don't want to make it seem like we're just hassling them and constantly texting and texting and texting and things like that but at the same time we kind of do want to do that because how many times do you get emails from walmart from um fashion nova from shein from you know just safari from where you shop out there they're constantly sending out emails you know you may not the other day i hadn't been on safari in so long and that's my store okay but uh they just kept sending these emails and i found out i had this this um this coupon code and that made me go on there so just like those big companies are doing that you have to do that as well and i don't i don't recommend spamming them because i can't stand too much spam like if i keep getting something even from bigger companies i'm going to unsubscribe to the mailing list because i just don't want to deal with all that but you have to make sure that you're consistent in the email marketing world just as well as you're consistent in the social media world which it kind of goes hand in hand but you kind of get what i'm saying um next thing is oh uh, email marketing um i recommend uh main champ monkey champ i don't know i promise y'all as i'm talking i'm going to be putting this into the uh into uh, on her so you won't just be left out um i can't remember what it is i started i've had so many and also shopify offers their own marketing thing wix as well so you know if you whatever um website you decide to sign up with sometimes they do have their own marketing thing but sometimes it's best to really figure out uh the other ones as well because sometimes they are not that great so um 
you just have to find kind of what's work, work, what works for you and what you know what you what speed you can go the next thing is a digital scale now you are going to need a digital scale not just for weighing your products but for packaging your products um i know a lot of people they just go package the um they just go to the mailbox and they, i mean to the post office and let them package it but i package my own orders as well as making labels and everything else um i package my own labels so i mean i package my own um packages so with that being said i need a digital scale so that i can put it into the computer because i load everything into the computer how much everything on my products is going to weigh they tell me how much it's going to cost i print it out with my label maker and then do it like that so make sure that you have a digital scale for not only your weighing your products if you are if you do have a business that has products and things like that that you have to sell but for for uh, packaging and things like that. Um, next thing is a business plan. Now, this is something that I didn't have starting out. That I do have now. Um, I kind of just jumped off in there because I'm the type of person who has to do that. I'm the type of person who has to jump off without really having too much direction. Because I, I really don't even know why. I just have to do that because I just feel like if I don't jump out there and do it, I'm not going to do it. You know, like I, I have to just, I have to, I'm a, I have to... I'm a visionary. I have to vision it. I have to touch it. I have to see it. Um, me just writing it down sometimes is not, I mean, it works, but not all the time with me writing it down benefit me. So I kind of jumped off in there, but looking back, I do wish that I would have created a business plan so that I couldn't have made some of the mistakes that I did to make along the way, but you're going to make mistakes. It's all a part of the process. So make sure you have a business plan. It does not have to be front and back multiple big, um, binders or anything like that but just make sure you have a set thing in your head about your business your name where you want to go do you want to do this for two years or do you want to do this as a lifetime like just make sure that you have your plan together and you don't have to always write out the entire plan start off with what you want to do and add as you go and that's kind of where i'm at right now i'm just constantly adding to my business plan constantly 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 um the next thing is remove feelings now sis that is the most important thing you cannot have no feelings being in the business because um it's just it's a lot and especially when you're doing it all on your own like you're blessed you're blessed if you have a partner or if you have family members that help or if you have um a business partner or things like that but when you're doing it solely by yourself you have to remove your feelings because it's not easy and it's not for the faint of heart like you have to have a strong mind strong will um you have to know that you are going to be successful on days that it looks like you're not going to be successful or weeks that it looks like okay i'm slacking a little bit you know so just remove your feelings because you cannot have no feelings in being an entrepreneur that's just facts um stay consistent now i know because I watch a ton of YouTube videos when I'm watching certain things or for, from business to um, fitness that everybody say stay consistent. And I know you're probably tired of hearing it. But if you stay consistent, you will be successful. Nine times out of ten, the reason why someone is not successful is because they stopped. They got tired. They got discouraged. They got whatever. They got tired and they stopped. And you never know. The next day may be the day they would have got it. You never know. So one thing's for sure and two things for certain. Stay consistent. Like no matter what. You get a sale one day. You don't get a sale for three, month, three months. Stay consistent because you are going to succeed as long as you stay at it. Anybody that fails at being an entrepreneur nine times out of ten, it was because they gave up. So just keep on going because you never know when your day is going to come. You never know when the right person is going to make that purchase. Word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? You may think, oh, I only sold to two people today. So what? All it takes is for those two people to tell their friends, their families, their followers, their supporters about your product. And I'm telling you, the next day you're going to be like, oh my God, waking up to so many orders and things like that so just please remain consistent even though it gets hard even though it seems like sometimes you just want to give up stay consistent um next thing is excel i did not use excel in the beginning but baby i use it now okay um i use excel for i mean you can use excel for so many things but i use it for my calculations um from business expenses to how much i made for the year um um inventory like i just use it for so much and they create these spreadsheets and it's just like everything is on like it'll be on your phone it'll be on your computer it'll be on your ipad you can print them out it's just these spreadsheets of everything so i would definitely recommend excel 
um packaging paper if you this goes hand in hand uh, once again if you package your own orders if you don't package your own orders then you don't need this but if you are going to be the one that's packaging your order you need cute packaging paper like something that gets them um because you listen it's all about you know I, I saw somewhere the other day and it was like your product doesn't even have to be that great but if you it's how you sell it it's how you present it that's gonna make people continue to buy it now yes that's icing on the cake if it's actually a good product that's just great and you want to strive to have a good product but if you just make it appealing to the eye baby i'm telling you i'm telling you <laughs> like you have to have great packaging paper great um I get those little, um, um, where are they at? Oh, it's just, mm. I get these little frilly things and I put it in there and I package it. Sometimes I hand write on the, uh, thank you letters just to let you know, let you just feel it, you know, because you, you want to, I don't like to look at, I'm selling to customers. I like to look at it as I'm selling to friends. I'm selling to, you know, people all over. So I really want them to feel, um, feel me, you know, feel it in my packaging, feel it in my products, feel it in something as simple as a handwritten thank you note or just signing a thank you note and saying an extra thank you so much for your purchase. You never know when doing something like that will go a long way. Um, the next thing is P.O. Box. And physical addresses. Now, when you start your online business, you start your business, whatever, you do not want it um, coming to your house. You do not want people to know where you live. When you ship off a package, it has to have an address. And you definitely don't want your home on there because there's some weirdos out there. So, I recommend, in my personal appearance, I recommend getting a P.O. Box because a P.O. Box offers a um, physical address. You use the address of the uh, post office and it appeals to be an actual address, but it's a P.O. Box. Um, a lot of people use UPS. I started off with UPS and I just didn't like it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just me personally, I read to go to the post office but i was with ups for a while and they also have a physical address it's not just a p.o box 9842 you know it's actual physical address where your packages can come and you know people can send you things and um you know you can ship off your orders without using your actual address so make sure that you get that because when you start shipping these products off or you start shipping your journals off or whatever you sell or whatever business you want to do and you don't have an actual business address like you don't have a place that you go do your business you work from home or you work from your she shed or whatever um you want to make sure that you're using something that doesn't get traced back to you you know so the next thing is a laptop or a pc um you need some type of computer you need something you need a tablet you need a computer you need a pc you need something um as far as the computer because you're going to continue to be researching things and it's only so much that your phone is going to do you know we have some really today's time like we got some really good phones like when i was growing up we had flip phones and you couldn't do all that with that so you definitely need a laptop but now you know we have so much for advanced um phones so you don't necessarily need a computer just to start off with don't get me wrong i'm not saying go purchase out a computer especially if you just start now you need to preserve your money as much as you can but i'm just saying let that be something that you work toward because you're gonna eventually need some type of computer to get your stuff done because not everything can be done on the phone now it's a lot though you can print from your phone you can record from your phone it's a lot that you can do with your phone but i'm telling you it's a game changer when you actually have a laptop and or an ipad or something or something like that other than just your phone next is business cards and flyers listen whether you make them yourself i make my own business cards like i'm telling you i'm the, i'm the ceo the marketing email marketing person the um designer i do everything sometimes and sometimes it be like that sometimes it starts off like that but don't get discouraged um so if you make your own business codes and business cards and flyers please make, make that and please have them on you um another thing i recommend is popple you can get it to put it on the back of your phone. Mine broke and I have to go buy another one. I, but I have another one that goes on your keychain. I will link that down below. You can get your keychain. It, it sticks on the back of your phone like a pop socket. Um, you also can... Um, I, I'll insert in the screen another way that you can use it. You know when you go to those restaurants and you have to take the picture. Uh, when co uh, Take the picture so you can get the menu on your phone. It has that same thing that you can go on your phone, show somebody, and they can take a picture. And then it's your business card and all your business is on it. Make sure you have that on you because you never know who's going to see you. You never know. I was in a grocery store the other day and two women really loved my shirt that I had made. And they was like, oh, you know, where'd you get your shirt from? I was like, oh, I make it. <laughs> hey. And they was like, oh my God, you're on Facebook. And I'm like, oh my goodness, why didn't I not bring my... Um, um, 
my business card and at the moment i just was in such a rush i didn't even realize that they could have used my popple like it's just things like that you never know where you're gonna be you never know who is gonna see you you never know who's gonna want a business card so make sure you have physical business cards and make sure you get that popple or something like it so that you know the world is so digital now let them be able to just take a picture and bam all your business stuff come up so make sure that you stay prepared because you never know where you're gonna be you never know who you're gonna see next thing is the popple i just told you about i will put that on the screen showing you what that is um the next thing is a laminator oh i said laminated in the beginning right y'all i meant label maker in the beginning but anyway we already talked about a laminator so now we're gonna talk about a label maker you need i don't even know if i say a laminator or label maker in the beginning i don't know don't fault me y'all but you need a label maker now this is not a necessity you do not have to get it but if you package it in, i listen i recommend it. it's a great thing i got mine from office depot and listen that is a game changer i print my own packaging um paper and put it on my packaging like it just it just makes things flow so make sure you get a label maker you do not have to get the one that i'm talking about specifically but just make sure you have your own label maker if you're the one that's packaging up your um packages um next thing is link tree i love link tree because you can link everything i mean it's in the description you can link it all so i have my link trees on all my social medias i have it on my youtube in the description box like i have it everywhere because it shows everything that i do um it has your picture at the top um it's free it's completely free um if you want some of the upgrades and and being able to kind of uh further design how your link tree looks um you can get pro and it's six dollars a month which is nothing to me you know but even if you don't want to do that you can link everything you want to link for people to see on there for free so i stand by it um i know it's other things that are on are on there but i personally personally use linktree the next thing is notebooks and binders listen keep track of everything keep track of your expenses keep track of the people that buy keep track of the invoices keep track of every single thing i have notebooks notebooks plural of all my business stuff i have binders that all my business stuff i have all it, listen notebooks and binders make sure that you're constantly like i got this right here for the next video like this one is a three subject binder and it has t listen get you a notebook and binder and keep track of your stuff because i'm telling you if you try to go in like i did in the beginning and i'm everything i'm saying is from experience okay it's from, it's from experience and i wish somebody would have told me so just make sure you have everything and if you're not somebody who like to write things down because honestly i'm a digital person i like digital things because not only can i have it on my laptop but i can have it on my phone and you know we always going to have our phone on us so you know i i like digital but i also like to have handwritten things as well so i do both so make sure you have a notebook of binder and if you're not that type of person make sure you have all your stuff on your computer your phone or something and have a backup of it and have a backup backup for it um and then the last thing for the essential business things you're gonna need um is an llc and trademark so a llc protects you in your state and you definitely that's i mean it protects you to a certain extent and i recommend getting it especially starting off and but if you know this is your business this is what you want to do without a shout out without and you working toward it just go ahead and get the trademark because the trademark covers you nationwide you know um also a patent if you have products that you you know make sure just read up on that and make sure you know what direction you're going in because the llc covers a lot it protects you through a lot but it doesn't protect you through every single thing so just read up on those three things and figure out what works best for you um not what works best for someone else not what what you saw somebody do on youtube but what works for you and your business plan you have to figure out what your business plan is. so those are all my essential business ideas for you um there is a ton of other things but i mean i just wanted to really break down on the must-haves like you know it's so much stuff that i could say it's so much stuff that's why i'm breaking it down into different parts this one is the first part right after this one i'm doing the business do's and don'ts and then after that i'm going to continue adding to this business series um i don't really know what else i'm doing after that but for right now these are just the business essentials and things like that if you have any questions or any other videos you would like me to do as regards to business or entrepreneurial things please let me know because listen i guarantee anything you can ask i have been through or experienced the hard way i have no problem sharing it with y'all so um like i said it's a ton of business things you're gonna need and especially depending on what field you're in but these are just 
the essential things okay so thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel if you rock with me like that and i'll see y'all next time bye when you stepped into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change